It is Kevin Harvick on the low side. McMurray, Boyer, Vickers, Brad Keselowski, and Menard, your top six as we go green. Can you explain to Clint or uh, Dylan or explain to Clint exactly how we did that in the last race? So that's what he needs to do. I told him I earlier it was about 15 to go, 18 to go. I was like, you guys want to make a move now? Go ahead. We're good with it. So that is Harvick's radio and the conversation. And there is Clint coming, and there's McMurray saying, Whoa, I thought I was your dance partner. It looks like Clint was paying attention because he's doing just exactly what Harvick wanted him to do. And that's put that bumper right to him, try to get him out front here. And then he'll have his shot at winning. Yeah, Jamie McMurray had a good run there, and he got a nice push from Brian Vickers, but he pushed him too far. Here Shelby. We go. Three wide. And for oh, second, look out. Here they go. The 88 on the high side getting the push from Vickers. Here comes Harvick saying, ah, I remember this guy. I'll dance with him. Yeah, but don't forget about Boyer on the bottom there. Vickers right behind him. Boyer now has the 27 as his partner and Scott Wimmer. White flag. White flag. Here we go. Harvick in front. Can he make NASCAR history and win both ends of a nationwide Sprint Cup doubleheader in one day? He's going to have to fight them off from both sides right here. He's got cars coming each way. McMurray with a head of steam. McMurray, oh, look out, a little contact with a 32. McMurray says, hey, I was in front the last time. You took it away from me earlier today. He's going to try and take it away from me. Oh, he's hung in the middle. Here he goes. Keselowski's got trouble now. Keselowski's got like oh, on the hard side. Look out, they're going to go around. McMurray. Oh, oh, big crash. Oh, and up into the wall. Look out. The caution is out. The race will finish. And it looks like Brad Keselowski is going to get the race win. Bring it here. Bring it here. We will check with NASCAR officials because of where the field would be set when the yellow came out. Unofficially, it looks like Brad Keselowski has taken the win. And tough break for Kenny Wallace there. Well, it's good to see that right there. Let's go back and take another look and see what happened. See McMurray trying to get in line right here, right behind Harvick, just not enough room. Yeah, and he had to check up for just a second because he was on the rear, right rear quarter of Kevin Harvick. And then once he goes around, the chaos wow. begins. Look at Setzer. Wow. Good to see him get out of that car, but that catch fence does its job. Well, and remember, they raised the catch fence after last year's race here. Also stretched it out over the racetrack. You're right. It did its job. Another view. Let's see right there. Jamie Murray just trying to get in. He was going to try to get there and push Kevin Harvick. You got to remember an opening. They're coming to the checker flag, so they're not going to let off. Let's go on board with Justin Allgaier. Just listen. Two outside. Two up spin in front of you. Watch him clear the bottom. This is the way Keselowski wanted to go out though with this car. And he's the wind. He's burning the tires off. Right there. We got one checker flag today. That was cool. Great job, everybody. And the official word from NASCAR is, yes, it is Brad Keselowski's win, his first win here at Talladega in his fourth race in the Nationwide Series, seventh career win, the first since Memphis last October.